So there's been rumors and reports forever that there's actually dead bodies buried in the back of the conjuring house. Here's the conjuring house. And here's what's going down. Everyone in the world knows about the Conjuring House. Everyone knows the history and everything about the Conjuring House. They know it's one of the most haunted places on Earth. Warner Brothers filmed the Conjuring movies. We all know everything about this place. And now we're over here literally looking for dead bodies after all this time in the backyard of the Conjuring House. Right now, I am documenting this process. And we think that there is one right here. Guys, I have a special announcement to make. We're going to be going live here at The Conjuring House at 7.30 p.m. on October 30th during the Harvest Moon with special guest Nick Groff. How you doing, man? How you, you doing, ready dude? for this? I'm scared, man. I can't wait. It's going to be very strange because we're actually going to be conducting this seance right here in this room. Very, you know, the very same footsteps that Anne Lorraine went yep. through. Yep. Uh -huh. 1973? October 30th, 1973. That seance was conducted in this very room and caused everything that we saw in The Conjuring. Yeah, and, and there was a girl who flew off into that room right there, yep. just flew. And I don't know really what to expect. I've been here twice now. Anything can happen. Um, and we're going to be tapping into something else on the other side. So we're going to be conducting an investigation. It's going to be live. What you see is what you get. No cuts. It's going to be so fascinating. So we're going to go to the other side. We're going to draw all the energies, all the spirits, whatever else is beyond. This is ancient land, 300 year old building. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I've been doing this for a very long time. So I'm, I'm actually scared. a little bit pumped up. But a little nervous too. Yeah, same. Because you don't know who you're dealing with on the other side. That's the scary part. We might know who we're communicating with, but we really don't. And again, guys, that's on October 30th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Check it out and stay tuned. Explorers, we are here at The Conjuring House once again, but not to actually ghost investigate. Where when you think things can't get any more crazier here at The Conjuring House, it just did. So there's been rumors and reports forever that there's actually dead bodies buried in the back of The Conjuring House. I don't know how true that is, but I wouldn't doubt it. It's The Conjuring House. So Nick Groff actually knows a guy, uh, I'll get into it more, but like pretty much a forensic guy that can find bodies in the ground. It could be bodies, it could be maybe bones, uh, rocks, it could be anything buried in the ground. But we think that it could be dead bodies in the back, so we have a guy here searching as we speak. I've never seen this before, ever. And dude, this is his car. They call him the Mapper. He's just chilling, dude. I don't know, I gotta see who this guy is, I never met him. I just wanna know what it's like, like, and what they do to try to find bodies, or bones for that matter, in the ground like what's the stages and we're going to show you that right now in this video this is definitely crazy because i just obviously you just seen the teaser trailer to what's to come and now i'm showing you this, this is definitely like a vlog now but guys spread the word we're going to be going live here at the conjuring house like i said at 7 30 p.m on october 30th here we go Luke. this is insane now what's awesome is this guy's name's bob the bone finder because he's very very good at his job here's the process Here's the Conjuring House, and here's what's going down. Dude, there's a whole crime scene map right here. I've never seen this done before, but I've always wanted to see it, so I ran here, I was like, I gotta see this happen. Okay, what, what's going on here is that I'm finding a lot of rocks. Obviously, you're looking at a foundation of rocks. Right. This whole area right in here, no matter which way you look at it, there's all kinds of rocks here. Now, the difference between the red ones and the green ones is that the red ones I'm identifying as high probability of rocks. We're okay. And then the green ones, which, and these rocks are in the probably the two foot level, foot and a half to two foot level, the green ones are deeper than that. They were probably in the three and a half, three and a half foot level. So that tells me that if it's in the three and a half foot level, that tells me that that's the probability of a grave. Okay. It doesn't mean it. I mean, I have right. to go back. I'm going to be scanning perpendicular this way now in order to see if I can pick up a length of it, see if it comes out to be, you know, be that way. I was cross scanning the, uh, the anomaly because what you have is that as you're going across the ground, you got radar going in the ground at 24 scans per foot. And as it hits something, it comes up the top and back down the other side. Now, given the date on these graves out here, you're probably not gonna see that. What I'm looking for is something that maybe look like scrambled eggs. I call it scrambled eggs inside the, uh, when I'm looking at the computer. 
and uh, and everything's flattened out and it comes up only a small curve like that versus a grave would be a nice curve hyperbolic curve so well, those other flags that you see there the red ones I guess they were put in by another company that came out to do the do some GPRing in here, out here they only scan right in one particular area and I expanded the area to do 46 feet long and 20 feet feet wide and that gives me plenty enough time because I'm gonna do afterwards to do a 3d imaging of it and collect the data and analyze the data afterwards so, oh nice so, anyways. yo can I just show your hat off really quick <laughs> the bone finder <laughs> so well, if you do a if you do a search on Google bone finder you're gonna find all kinds of stuff on there about me, and so <laughs> and the name of it is Bone Finder Tracking the Dead. That's awesome. That's what I do. That's so awesome. I got T-shirts and I got hats. So yeah, if you need, this, if you this guy's a legend. Like, you know, what's that? What is your What is your actual profession called? Like, what is this called? Like, I'm a bone finder. That's really the profession. Yeah, because I was like, what did I call this job? Like, I was trying to explain. Like, what is this? Like a forensic thing? Like, I yeah. Um, um, there's companies that specialize in finding rebar. And you know, on bridges, uh, some people specialize in finding wells. Some people specialize in, you know, finding uh, you know gas tanks in the ground or you know pipes and stuff like that. I strictly focus my attention on unmarked graves, historical burial sites, and cemeteries. Those Bones. are the only things that I focus on. Anything else that comes in the door, I'll send out to somebody or I'll send it to somebody else that may be uh, specialized in that field, and vice versa. They will contact me and actually give me, you know, have me contact the client because they'll refer those type that type of work to me because that's right. the area that I specialize in. So. Oh, no, that's awesome. Yo, Corey, I gotta ask, how do you feel about possibility of dead bodies in your backyard? Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> See that right there? Well, I can't see it. Oh, right there where it's curving up? Yeah, right there. See, it goes right here. Uh, yeah. No, it wouldn't be curving up because these are all I mean, down. Yeah. yeah, see how the whiteness is right in here? Yes. And I went, when I back it up, see that line going across there? When you back it up, yep. you see the line. The line will stop. Oh, yeah. Right there. See, see the whiteness there? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? I, I'm at a low probability. Yeah. yeah, low probability. I always love Bob because he's like, you know, you know, <laughs> just maybe a body. 50-50. <laughs> I know. Hey. Well, if you got no, a, but you're so accurate. If, That's if, what I love about you. If you got you. a shovel, explorers, what is life right now? We're literally watching a crime scene going on right here, and I'm like witnessing it. I'm at the Conjuring House, and we're literally looking for dead bodies, or I mean, we're looking for bones. I mean, what the heck? This is a this is crazy. I never thought I'd ever do this. <sighs> You gotta think about that real quick. You see how this thing whips up like this? See how it goes up and whips up. If you think about it, this is actually really big. Everyone in the world knows about the Conjuring House. Everyone knows the history and everything about the Conjuring House. They know it's one of the most haunted places on Earth. Warner Brothers filmed the Conjuring movies. We all know everything about this place. And now we're over here literally looking for dead bodies after all this time in the backyard of the Conjuring House right now. I am documenting this process because if we actually did find a dead body here, this is big. This is actually huge. The whole world's going to know about it. So that's why I want to really show this off. And just being here, even if I wasn't filming this, is just freaking cool. Okay, here we're looking at right here. Now... Is a glare? Can you see it? All right? Okay, you get it there. You can see these are rocks. See the hyperbolas? Yes. Okay, these are rocks. Now, this is typically what I'd be looking for if we were in a cemetery. If it's an old burial like this, then we're looking at something totally different. This is what I refer to as scrambled eggs. Now, you got you got a level that goes across, and all of a sudden you see disturbance right in here, and then you have a flatness. This tells me that there's a high probability the grave is flat, because right now it's probably down about two inches. And that's what you see right here. So that's the reason why I'm flagging this as with a double flag. I'm going to come back and analyze this. The reason why I'm doing this is that I want to be able to, when I look at the 3D image, I want to be able to pinpoint these spots to, you know, to get a, a, uh, you know, a good vision of this. Right. But that's what you're looking at right there. So okay. You see the, see the disturbance right in here? Yep. And that's, which one was that? Is that right below that's us? That's right below, right, 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 right see, see that line going down? Yes. That's, okay, that's, that's right where the blue line is at. That's exactly where it's at. And so it's right in this particular area. So if I was to back this line up, see, and I go back up, back up to this line right here. Oh yeah, I see it. For you me. see it right there. Right. It's basically right up on the actually a little. How big would that be? Well, you're probably talking. Okay, that would be one spot here, and I mean, then we would go over to here, and it would end right there. 
So you're talking that's at least six feet. So that's a, uh, could be a yeah. possibility yeah. as a person. Yeah. Exactly, that's six feet. Uh oh. It's weird because over there we're getting some huge high possibilities that there could be caskets or bodies, but we're unsure yet. But it's a big possibility, right? Well, it looks like we got two. Over, it looks like you got two or three of them over here. But now I had this. So I had a weird feeling, just like I did at the Hinsdale House right. and other places. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, there's something. We're missing it. We're missing it, and we're just moving a little bit. What is this? 50 yards, maybe? Maybe a little bit. Probably 30. 30 yeah, yards at the most. And tell me what's happening now. Well, as I was coming across the ground, I mean, if I back this, if I let me just kind of go back in time on this, and if I took the wheel up. And go back. I can go back in time on this. Yep. And you're gonna see. I started picking things up. You see, there's nothing. There's nothing in the ground. Right. I mean, this is just minor stuff right here. There's nothing in the ground. But see, it, that's all the way from that that spot. Now, if you turn it and go back forward, that's where that line's at. And you go back forward. It's still, you know, that's all leveled area. Yeah. And then you come into that's probably that's just a rock the size of it. Yes. And then you come into this area. Right oh here. wow! Right in here. See it right there. Look at that. that yeah. Right so that tells me no, I'm I'm past it right now. So, so what I can, let me do this. Let me go back over here and take another scan going this way and pick it up a little bit okay. again. And then you can then we can go back and forth. Yeah, okay. that's weird though. <laughs> yeah, that no, I mean look, look at that. That, that that's a, that's a look nice. Look at Corey's thing. reaction. Like Corey's reaction is priceless right you now. Ready? You ready? You nice have goosebumps, one. right? Yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at look at Corey. Tell me tell me what you're feeling right now. What do you feel, man? I wish you guys would just stop finding possible bodies <laughs> throughout the house. Yeah, but I mean, I mean what, what does it make you feel? Honestly, you've taken over this this location. I mean, living here. Honestly, what I'm truly flabbergasted by is like there's no record of anything, no record of bodies being buried here or anything. The Arnold family plot right. is about two miles that way. And the only reason we're out here doing this is because a spirit told Cindy Perrin there were seven dead soldiers buried basically in the wall, by the wall, something along those lines. And that's the only reason we're out here doing it. And we're coming up with these anomalies. And let's keep it even more real. Yesterday we were here, we were filming and we were just getting some um, some shots. We were getting ready for our live uh, event coming up, right? Yeah. So October 30th, we have this live event and Josh, Justin, myself, we were sitting here and we're like, I need to call an amazing person who does ground penetrating radar so we can just validate this. We can't keep going off of like theories or ideas or hearsay. So we called him Bob and here we are. Yesterday we called you and now we're here and it's becoming real. It's not just an investigation. It's not just like a, a paranormal activity of like, you had an experience, I had an experience, or we're getting some pseudoscience through equipment. This is a real investigation at this point where we're coming up with high possibilities that there could be bodies under this ground. So after three and a half hours, Bob is now done, AKA Bob the Bone Finder, but it's really cool. So I'll show you right here the flags that he thinks uh, the body is, but he thinks it was a total of five bodies here. There was a red flag over there, but he's making a 3D map that's gonna show us where they are. So that's why he's removing the flags. But we are keeping the ones here. And we think that there is one right here. Or two. There's one over there maybe. Maybe, maybe one over here. But most of our bets is facing these right there. Really crazy. And no one knows like what's gonna happen. But we will be maybe digging up. We're still thinking about what we want to do with it. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna mess around with it or something soon. Just not yet. It'll be on the live stream if we do. So if you have the Conjuring House, you have about eight acres of land in the back here that you're allowed to walk and they have some trails over here. Um, no one ever does it. I don't even think. Do you think Corey ever walks walks all of it? Uh, no. Yeah, because I, I, I've never even been back here all the way either. But John said that what you, you did the spirit box and he's doing the spirit box and he says that the ghost led him to a cemetery in the back that no one knew about. Is that legit? It was telling me to turn right, turn left, go straight. And, and it told me I was near and stuff like that, and then and then I I was looking for a foundation, but it took me right to the cemetery in the back. I never even knew it was there. Did, did Corey know about the cemetery? No, no. So yeah, no one knows about the cemetery in the back of the Conjuring House. So we're going there right now. We have to check it out for ourselves. It's been a crazy day. I mean, we hung out with Nick Groff. We learned more about uh, finding dead bodies, and we met the bone collector, the bone finder, and yeah, just a casual day at the Conjuring House trying to find dead bodies. 
It's been good so far. It's been great, honestly. Bored. Now this is cool to film. These are the this is the woods behind the conjuring house. No one ever actually sees this. Definitely a good vlog to show all this. Yeah. I didn't even know there was a bridge here either, so this is awesome. This bridge is falling apart. Who, uh, did you know anything about the bridge? Like, who made it? Was it like uh, just the parents? Uh, Roger Perrin built it back in the seventies. That's yeah, just worn out. Yeah. <laughs> you think we can walk this bridge? <laughs> <laughs> well, if they're doing it, we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, on, on this beam. <laughs> this is aw this is actually relaxing back here. Like a Mac is there, not good idea. Yeah, no, this is good. Okay. Oh, we can do this. Oh, <laughs> guys, this is all new stuff. If you guys have not seen uh, what we just been doing already, we're, we're now discovering that there might be dead bodies in the back of the conjuring house. And now we just discovered because of John through a spirit box ghost telling them to bring you to the cemetery. We're now finding that there's a cemetery back here. So we're doing all this cool new stuff. And now this is all first. This is the first first of everything of the conjuring house. So now everyone's learning about the conjuring house and I'm learning as well as we go. This makes me wonder if the woods are haunted here. I mean, the house is obviously haunted, so are the woods haunted? So, this is either straight, right, or left. Yeah, and so the spirit, spirit box told really you to go that way? Yeah. Uh, that's sick then, that's cool. I was wondering which one they go straight, and um, but I couldn't go straight because it's too much snowing. <laughs> so I walked all, it guided me all the way around to where it would have been once I went straight. Dang, that too bad you weird. didn't record that. I did. You did? Yeah, it's, yeah I did it live. On your Facebook? Yeah. Oh, Is it YouTube. still on it? Oh, it's still on your YouTube then? Yeah. Alright, what's your, wait, put it, I have his link down below. So check out John's YouTube, you can see that. I don't know what you got, what are you going to type in though to get it? We'll find it, we'll find it. At last, we made it to the cemetery. And these gravestones are super old, they're super uh, thin and small. Let's go check out some of the dates on them. There is no way I would have found this on my own. Like, no way. I did not know there was a freaking cemetery in the back of the conjuring house. It's just, it's kind of deep. But look at this, there's one with an American flag right here. Wow. Look, I just feel like these people are just forgotten about. There's no way to even get here. It's just in the back of everything. That makes me just wonder though, like, what was it like, maybe like houses here at one point? I don't know. It wasn't even registered in the registry. This place? Yeah. What? I mean, look at this. Look how these stones are. This is freaking amazing. Yeah, this is this is cool. I'm trying to read the dates on some. Let's go read the date. I don't even. June nineteenth, eighteen sixty-three. Dude, this stone's eighteen sixty-three. What the heck? This is great. Eight. 1855. Whoa! Dude, there's a, there's a satanic star on this one, I think. I can, I can barely make it out, but if I look on my camera, I see it better on my camera than actually here. It's something. Someone drew a circle over it. Yeah, you see, you see the camera? On the camera, you can see it. Oh my god, it's huge. Yeah, but I can't see it in person as well. Yeah, it's like a It looks like it's part of it, kind of. Yeah. Like the weirdest thing. Yeah. And it's by Jane, some of some of Samuel. I love this cemetery. This is a good spot, man. That's a good find. Too bad we didn't do this. You should actually do the spirit box here. Now I think about it. I know. I didn't Next time, <laughs> could try. This would have been a whole new ghost video by itself, unexpectedly. <laughs> we had to bring Seth out here, get beyond the dark started. <laughs> what does that one say? 1818. 1818. Yup. And age. What is it? What can you? It's so hard to read. You yeah, can do, I like, can't, a gravestone I can't read rubbing it. and try to get the, Dude. Get the name. Dude, in this stone, I don't even, I don't understand this one. This one is so old that there's nothing even written on it. It's just a gravestone with nothing on it. And it's just, essentially, it's almost just a rock.
and we are back at the crash pad explorers i want to say this one more time and do not forget to share this everywhere at 7 30 p.m eastern time on october 30th mischief night the harvest moon's happening we are doing a live stream at the conjuring house with nick groff if you don't know who nick groff is google him or whatever he was the starter up of ghost adventures with zach bagans he was in up to season 10 before he did his own show paranormal lockdown and a bunch of other things this guy's a a well-known ghost hunter he's actually a very nice dude so it was great to meet up with him it's crazy how like i do be on the dark series and instantly get uh, friends with the Conjuring House owner, meet up with some other people who own haunted houses like Marion, Jason Hawes' daughter, and everyone else, and we just start ghost hunting, and it's coming out great, and now I meet Nick Groff. It's all crazy how it was flows. It was like I was meant to do ghost videos. Anyways, this is gonna be an insane live stream. Don't forget, the Warrens, everyone, they had a seance at the house the same day we're doing it. That's why it is a big thing. The same day they did their seance, which is what opened the portal to make the Conjuring House what it is and it became haunted, is what we're doing again the same day, just, you know, so, so many years later. But there's a twist to it. Huge twist. As you can tell, we have the bone collector, Bob, digging in the back of the Conjuring House not digging, but searching for actual dead bodies. And he even said himself, there's a very good chance there's something down there. He didn't say it's a body. He, you don't want to just say it's a body and then start saying this and that. So that's why uh, to be more, I guess, you know, I guess professional, don't go out your way like that. Uh, he says, you know, when he looks for bodies, this is what it looks like. And he showed me the graph. He says it's a good chance this is a body. Now, but this is going back probably 100 years. It wouldn't necessarily be a whole crime scene because the ground is over 100 years old. This is going back so far long ago. It could even be Indian burial grounds. We don't know. But I don't know what's going to happen yet, but this was just something huge and big and, and we had to document it. If you guys remember when the Annabelle doll um, escaped apparently from the cage, everything it was all over the internet. I mean, I, it became a hoax and they, they realized it was fake. But what we just did now was the real deal. We might have discovered a body in the back of the Conjuring House. I don't know. That is why you heard it here first. Now, guys, a lot more things go over real quick in the description link down below. Uh, Nick Groff's uh, company or whatever he's doing work with is called Vidi Space. And Vidi Space is hosting a three-day live stream event at the Conjuring House from the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st all day long, even at night. It's a 24-hour live stream. And the link in the description down below, if you got nothing to do, for 5 or $10, you can go buy it and you could watch their live stream that they're doing together with the Conjuring House owner, which is every day, all day again, for three days straight. You can talk to them. They're going to be live. I might stop in a day earlier and just hang out and you can talk to me too. Uh, it's going to be there. So link in the description down below, check them out. And also check out uh, Nick's uh, info, link in the description down below as well. You can check out his IG and things like that. But guys... Thanks so much for watching. Uh, this was this was a big one. I hope you heard all this and listened to this. There's just a lot to go over and talk about. And I thought today was just insane. Uh, the, the whole cemetery graveyard too. We, I think I'm going to do another video going to the cemetery and actually fix it up. No one knew there was a cemetery in the back of the Conjuring House. This is another new big thing we discovered. And we're always discovering new things. Like God knows what else there is to find hundreds of years later. But we're gonna, we were thinking about restoring the cemetery. So if we, this video can get 100, you know, no, let's, get, let's just keep it small. 15,000 likes, thumbs up. If you give me those thumbs up, we will go make a video about restoring that whole cemetery. Fix it up. And we'll actually document it. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, yep, we're getting out of here. Rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching.